Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Good morning. I hope that to this point, you've had an awesome week. You're off to a great start in your day. If not, uh, you can always press that reset button. Remember, the best way to get your day, your week off to a great start is through developing and creating a heart of gratitude, starting your day off in a place of thanksgiving. And it can be difficult at times. I can attest to that. My life hasn't been a cakewalk. My life has just simply been someone who prefers to be positive, who prefers to be thankful than to complain, and someone who is relentless, meaning that I am never going to be in a place where I am sitting around uh, giving up, throwing in the towel, accepting defeat. I take my punches, I take my lumps, but I get up, I dust myself off, I look ahead and I keep moving. That is my state of mind, that is my philosophy, that's how I operate, those are the codes that I live by. It's not about ease, people. It is about consistency and a state of resilience and relentlessness and a decision to wake up and be grateful. Because when you are grateful, there's no room for pity, for worry, for anxiety, for anger, for bitterness, for jealousy. All of those low level, low vibration, low frequency emotions that literally snatch the life out of your progress. You wake up in the morning and you find a reason to be grateful. If nothing else, if you wake up in the morning, you're still breathing. And I was <clears throat> and I was told that if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. And if you're still in the fight, you haven't lost yet. And so you've got to wake up with a mindset of being grateful, not for the suffering or the hardship or the pain, but grateful that it's not the end of the story. Grateful that you still have the ability to change things. Grateful because this is just the beginning of something new. You've got to believe it for yourself to the point that you're starting to feel it. It's literally creating a new emotion in you. And that starts with gratitude. I cannot express enough how important it is to wake up and be grateful. And so I just want to encourage you on that note. I want to take some time out to congratulate all of the people who enrolled in the 30-day challenge, which we're kicking off at the beginning of March. Uh, we're doing our interviews starting today, and we're going to get those interviews done by the end of tomorrow for all of the people, and we're going to be set up and ready to go at the beginning of March. We're going 30 days straight. We're creating a new positive habit that is going to have a lasting effect on our lives in a positive way. I want to thank everybody who enrolled. I want to especially thank and congratulate Erica Tolliver, who was the winner of our Platinum Lottery. Those who enrolled in the course were entered into a drawing to receive a Platinum Coaching Package with yours truly, which is a year-long, 52-session uh, uh, process and program that I offer. It is, a quote unquote, the flagship package and program that I offer to individual clients. And it is a value of $10,500. Erica Tolliver, uh, you have joined some very special people who are participating in that program. And we welcome you. And as I told you during that, that I was going to immediately start looking for ways to do this once a month. So for every person who signs up for starting today, for every person who signs up for the coaching on demand, which used to be consulting and coaching uh, subscription is now coaching on demand subscription. Everybody who signs up for that subscription this month will be entered into the drawing that will take place on the 1st of April for the platinum package. I'm going to give one of those away every month. This is a part of what I'm doing to reach more people. I told you last year, at the beginning of last year, we wanted to reach 1 million people in every way, in every platform that we had from our books uh, that I've written, from our articles on our different sites, from videos on different platforms, to personal engagement, public speaking, all of these, I want to reach 1 million people. It got hard towards the end because our primary platform, which a lot of our work was being done, done on, got snatched away from us, but we finished anyway, and we hit the goal. This year is 2 million. I want to touch 2 million lives. And so I've got to come up with more creative ways of doing it. I've got to uh, be careful how I manage it, but we, we, we're off and on our, we're on the way. So again, 
Everybody who signs up for a coaching on demand subscription, the link is going to be in the box. Uh, no matter where you're where you're watching this at, you sign up for that coaching on just uh, demand subscription. Uh, you're going to get everything that the subscription allows. Plus, you're going to be entered into a drawing to win a platinum package. That's 52 sessions with yours truly. And uh, I'm excited about what that means with working with people. The more people I work with, the more energized I become uh, and the more thankful I become because I get to see people in real time experience the gift that I've been given by God to help people. And it's so it's so it's so awesome. So that's that. So uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end. But take advantage of it. The coaching on demand program is a great program for people who cannot afford the, the bronze, silver, gold, or platinum packages, but still want access uh, to my expertise in helping them achieve a specific goal. And you can take it month to month. There's no obligation. You can stop at any time, but it's a month to month subscription. And it allows you to have access and a number of other things that you, you obviously wouldn't have if you didn't subscribe. But this month, it's going to allow you to have your name placed in the drawing to receive uh, a platinum package, 100% free, no fees, no nothing. You're going to literally get it uh, just by subscribing and having your name thrown in. If you are selected, it's yours, and we work it out until the end. On that note, let's move into what I want to talk to you about today. What I want, what I want to talk to you about, and what I want you guys to start doing is to get beyond the emotion of the moment when I speak because I'm a very passionate person and it can be easy to get caught up in the emotional side of things. And there's nothing wrong with feeling those emotions. Those emotions actually have a purpose. They literally solidify and anchor the memories of the things that you are connecting with and hearing. It's nothing wrong with it, but I want you to get beyond the emotion. I want you to really think, how, I'm what, how can I apply what I'm hearing right now to my life today. Not one day I'm going to do that. Not, man, I hope I can get, what can I take from this that I can literally apply to my life today? There's something in this message that I can apply to my life that will start a process of elevation and empowerment. And it's literally there. And so I want you to start thinking about what you're hearing beyond the emotion and the inspiration and the encouragement, which is good. But I want you to get beyond that because I want you to, I want to give you something to fight with in this life, in this journey, in this battle for elevation and empowerment, in this value, in this battle to win and succeed in life and to fulfill your destiny of greatness because that's what everyone is born with. They're born with a purpose and a destiny to do something exceptional and extraordinary. What happens is life happens. Environments, some people are born into environments that are toxic. Some people are born or have a trauma that takes place after their birth that totally shifts their life. People go through things and life plants seeds of doubt. And what you have to be able to do is overcome that. You've got to make some choices that you're going to change where you're at. You're going to create a new environment. So I want you to really think about this. What I have found in the literally thousands of people that I've encountered and dealt with at some point in some time in some way is that the people who get on in life, the people who are perceived and seen as successful are the people who wake up in the morning and determine in themselves what needs to be done. And then they go out and they make it happen. It doesn't mean that they have all the answers because that's not how life works. And hopefully I'll get to explain that in a second. But they wake up in the morning and they say, okay, I need this opportunity. Maybe the opportunity exists. Maybe it doesn't. But if they can't find it, they create it. In other words, they're not waiting on someone to see their value. They understand their abilities. They understand who they are. They have a sense of identity, a sense of purpose. They have a clear vision of what it is they desire to do, and they wake up in the morning making it happen. Now, those who end up meandering through the maze of mediocrity, living a life of lethargy and being average are those who wake up and wait on life to deal them a better hand. 
those people who wake up and have all of the uh, reasons why they can't get done what they need to get done or why they get done. This is not me dumping on you. This is me saying at some point, you've got to stop feeling sorry for yourself. At some point, you've got to stop blaming everybody else. I'm not saying that what happened to you when you were this age or that age or in this relationship of that situation wasn't real and they weren't wrong. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I have counseled people who are still holding grudges against people who have literally changed their lives since they hurt them, gone on to do great things and have moved from underneath all of that weight they're carrying. When you hold grudges, when you sit up and you internalize all of the bitterness and resentment you have towards someone who hurt you in the past, you're not hurting them. You're hurting you literally, emotionally, physically, and psychologically, spiritually as well, hurting yourself. That's like taking poison and hoping someone else dies. So what, what, what do you do? You have to understand, sometimes people actually deserve your forgiveness, and other times you've got to let it go because it's destroying you. And so you've got to look at it and say, okay, how do I uh, get to where I need to be? How do I change things? You have to understand that you are the person in charge. So what happens? What's the difference between the people who wake up in the morning and they get on in life because they go out and they make things happen and those who are sitting around just living a life somebody else gave you? See, when you're living a life somebody else gave you, you're literally living with a, a, a life or a story somebody else wrote. See, somewhere along the line, somebody told you you could never be. Somewhere along the line, somebody, someone or some situation told you that where you're at is your lot in life, that suffering is your lot in life, that poverty is your lot in life, that being abused, mishandled, and mistreated is your lot in life, that never ever getting beyond a certain stage in your career is your lot in life and you received and accepted the narrative that was being written, and you have perpetuated it in your thinking, perpetuated it in your self-talk, and ultimately perpetuated it in your expectations of yourself. And I told you a million times, if I told you once, that God only meets you at the level of your expectations, never above. God meets you at the level of your expectations. That's the idea of what your faith can predict and project and you accept. You, you're never going to get anything beyond that. So what do you have to do? you got to take the pen from the people who can't see the greatness in you. you got to take the pen from the people who can only see what you used to be. you got to take the pen away from people who make it their business to tell you how and why you're going to fail. You got to hold the pen and you got to be the one to write the narrative. You got to be able to tell your story, past, present, and future. You got to be willing to sit up and say, you know what? I used to be that person, but I'm not that person anymore. I used to live over there, but I'm not that person anymore. I used to think like this, but you've got to take the pen from the naysayers and you've got to start writing the narrative of your story. You've got to write your story. And you, when you, and here's the beauty of it. When you get to a point where you're writing your story, you get to write your story your way. That's the beauty of taking control of your life. See, when you, when you sit up and you give the people who hurt you power, you don't have the ability to write the narrative. You still, the power is still in their hands. They're hurting you. They may have gone on with their lives, but they're still hurting you because you gave them the power because everything that's wrong is their fault. See, you can't change anything until you take ownership of it. One of the things that I do with my clients is we got to sit up and we can look at all the things that are wrong. We can look at what you went through and we can understand that there were some very traumatic experiences that you went through. But what we're going to need to do is take ownership of the things that we need to own and we're going to release the things that don't belong to us. See, some people hurt you because they were broken. You can't do anything about that. They've got to fix that about them. What you can't do is let what a broken person And then you consistently, through traumatic memory, relive it, go through it all over again, and you never heal. 
See, you got to get rid of the cause before you start the healing process. You can have a cut on your leg that's being caused because of a chair you're sitting in that has a wire on it. And what happens is every time you sit in the chair, you reopen the wound in the, the, wound in the same place because of where you sit and how you sit. And then you get up. You're never going to heal. Why? Because you keep reopening the wound. You got to get the cause out of the way first before the healing process can start. Then you've got to be able to put yourself in an environment in which healing can take place. And that works on multiple levels. I have taught this, the, uh, the power of epigenetics, both genetically and environmentally, to literally create the, the, the optimal atmosphere for healing. And most people don't realize just how much that thought processes and the way they perceive life interferes and impacts their physical health. And we're going to talk about that one day. We're going to talk about a lot of this stuff moving forward. So what am I getting at? What am I saying? What, I, what I'm saying here is when you have the pen, you can sit up and say, this day is not indicative of my destiny. When you have a bad day, you can sit up and say, tomorrow will be a great day that I am evolving into something spectacular, something great. I will have an impact. And then you'll start speaking your future tense as if it was your present tense and your past tense. What I'm saying, you will get to a point where you'll start remembering your future. When I say that, people say, what are you talking about? Remembering your future means you have such a clear vision of where you're going that you can literally visit it anytime you want to. And the mind does not have the ability to distinguish between what's being imagined and what's real. So when you visit this place and you have the ability to imagine and, and, and visualize it in, in such clarity, the brain and the mind can't tell that you're just imagining it. Your, your brain and your mind says, man, it's nice that we can come here. It's nice. And then it creates an emotion that creates a feeling in the body. And that feeling in the body is what's going to tell you how it feels to be there. So when you start going through something in the present that you don't like, you just simply visit the future to say, this is why I'm going through this so I can get to that. And then that emotion will literally transcend and overcome the present emotion. That's why people couldn't understand when I was going through what I was going through. In, 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 in 2012 while I was smiling. So y'all looking at where I'm at and how I'm operating right now, but I'm living in where I'm going because I can see by visiting this place why I'm going through what I'm going through. I told you when you start, when you become acquainted with your purpose, it will explain your pain. I'm telling you that you have the ability to write your narrative. You have the ability to declare things, to speak things, to establish things and manifest things in the fifth dimension before they ever get to the third dimension or the third three-dimensional realm where everybody can see, touch it, and see it along with you. You manifest it through your thoughts, through your expectations, through your self-talk and your speech. You are literally declaring things that are coming. Stop talking about your problems. Stop talking about everything that's going wrong. Stop accepting all of the negativity that's coming by believing and speaking on it and start speaking what you know about your life, that there's something special inside of you. That's my challenge to you today. This is the thing you can take away from this, is that I can write my own story. I can speak things that are not as though they were. I can declare something, and just by declaring it and standing on it and moving toward it, I can make the universe bow down and meet me halfway. I have that kind of power. So you've been listening to the nay naysayers, the, the minimal minded that, that have been whispering sweet nothings of negativity in your ear. You've been buying the old story. It's time to lay down the old story. It's time to let it go. It's time to start seeing something different, something new, something powerful, something phenomenal and extraordinary, something exceptional. You weren't created for mediocrity. There's something supernaturally exceptional inside of you. It's been covered up by pain. It's been covered up by darkness. It's been covered up by, by mishaps and trauma. But it can't be killed. Dig it out. Dust it off. Polish it up. Look at yourself in the, in the mirror of your purpose. 
Look at yourself in the mirror of your design and you'll start to see that you are a remarkable person. I told you on yesterday that one of my favorite scriptural verses is in the book of Job and it says that you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. And when you look at it, it, it you, you normally gravitate towards the idea of something positive. I'm gonna declare something and I'm establishing it. And so you normally think of it in a positive light, but what you have to understand is that the verse is neutral. It's not positive or negative, it's subjective. What does it mean? That means that whatever you declare good or bad, you establish. A lot of you are speaking negativity into your lives and you're consistently perpetuating and living it and you don't understand why. Stop speaking negatively of yourself. It's time that you hold yourself at a higher regard. It's time that you start expecting more from yourself. It's time that you start declaring what it is you desire, want, and need instead of where you've been and what you've gone through and where you're at. Hmm. Speak, declare. And how do I do that? Feed your mind and your brain that will elevate you and lift you. Because remember, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the abundance of the subconscious, the mouth speaks. The mouth speaks fluently from what's in the subconscious. You can consciously control it for a while, but keep talking. And the subconscious takes over. And you start to speak what's in there. And if what's inside the subconscious is toxic and poison, eventually your self-talk becomes positive and, I mean, uh, poisonous and toxic. You got to feed it the right things. And, you know, that's something that I teach my clients. I give them the tools of how to program their mind to expect more, to, 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 to think more highly, to raise standards, to see themselves in a better light. That's programmable. Life has programmed you to think where you're at right now. And if you don't change your thinking, you will never change your situation. Oh, but when you start to see that it's possible and you start to write a new narrative, you start to write a new story, oh, how life changes. Look, you are not stuck. You may be stagnant, but you're not stuck. There's a difference. See, stagnancy says there's no real movement, but movement is possible. Stuck means that there's no movement. You're literally trapped. You're not trapped. You're stagnant. Some of you are stagnant because you got used to the comfort in a specific place and you decided not to leave. But there's no fulfillment in stagnancy and comfort. You gotta be willing to step outside of your comfort zone. Write a story of fulfillment in your life and then live it. That's my challenge to you. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna get off of here now, but write the story the way you want to live it. Right above your current situation, right above your past failures, right above your past traumatic experiences, right above all the things that you look at and know you want to escape from, right above it, right above it, right higher. On that note, I'm going to check out of here. Don't forget, if you want to be entered into the drawing uh, that's going to take place on April 1st, uh, for the platinum package, which is 52 sessions with yours truly, a value of 10,500. Click that link, go to the site, check out uh, uh, what the uh, coaching on demand program is all about. Once you get the coaching on demand program, uh, you know, you look at it and say, okay, that's something I want to do. Get Contact me to get enrolled. When you get enrolled, your, your name is automatically entered into that drawing. The coaching on demand package just in itself is, is awesome, but you get so much, you get a chance to win, like I said, a 52 session uh, contract with yours truly at no cost. And so that's, a, that's an awesome thing that, that I'm gonna do this once a month. I'm gonna find something that will allow you to qualify to win a platinum package. I'm gonna give away 12 of those over the next year. So, uh, we already gave away one for the people who signed up for the 30-day challenge. 
Okay, April, we're giving away one for those who sign up for the Coaching On Demand uh, subscription. With that being said, look, I'm going to get out of here. I got a lot I've got to get done, but I just wanted to stop and share, and I'm going to be doing a lot of this, just really trying to share with you the power you have within yourself to change your life. Stop waiting on something to happen and make it happen. On that note, I'm checking out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Uh, as I always say, I am going to live my life on full so that when it's time to leave this place, I die on eat. I challenge you to do the same thing. And on, on, on that note, I am out of here.